Pronto is here! <laughs> Whoa. Am I wrong, Trixa? Does that thing look just like the one in your story? Giant monster carved out of a rock? Yeah, I'd say it matches the description. Ha-ha! <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they... <laughs> Super speed and immense strength, just like the legend says. Taking down an overgrown statue would be pretty masterful. Hint, hint. Yes, it would. Allow me to demonstrate. Eli so got this. Well, then perhaps we should make this interesting. Say our usual wager? Yeah, you're on. Time to step our game up. Good to pronto. Nada. Nah. Nice slinging, Eli. Uh, guys? Where'd that come from? <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that weird dude from the tournament. He's helping us? Weird or not, he did it. You talking about me? No. Well, yeah, but, uh... Talk later. I've got it on the run. <sighs> well, he was creepy. Oh, don't mind him. Sleeds a bit unusual, but then you guys aren't exactly what I'd call normal either. Well, thank you very much. What were you saying about Sleed? He's been protecting us. We haven't been able to mine without that monster showing up. The caverns depend on these Aurora's energy crystals for power. But this Sleed, did he not previously work for the Emperor? Look, nobody's perfect. And that Emperor stuff is water under the bridge. He keeps to himself, comes when we need him, and all he wants is a crystal or two for his service. Besides, didn't you used to work for the Emperor? That is also in the past. I am no longer under the Emperor's control. We only wish to help. Thanks, but Sleed's got this cavern covered. You talking about me? Uh, only good things. Any luck out there? Nearly had it. The pyrite ore fled south to his den in Flowstone Cavern. It too risky to follow him inside. If you need me again, <laughs> I'll be close by. And that was also creepy. Sleet said the monster lives in Flowstone Cavern. Where is that? Not far to the south. If you five could stop the pyrite there before it attacks again. Say no more. Pronto gives his word that he will employ his many talents to bring this monster down. To the south, then. Pronto, south is the other way. <sighs> now go get him. According to the legend, the Pyrite first made its home in Pyrite Cavern a thousand years ago. Wait. Pyrite Cavern is north of the mine. Why would the monster be living south, away from its home? Perhaps it moved? That legend is very old and likely only partly true. Question is, which parts are true? <coughs> I believe you still owe me for that last bet. <sighs> Molinoids always pay their debts. <coughs> Unfortunately. Ah, you see? This is not so treacherous! <laughs> How about we keep it down so we can keep those things up? Uh, gang? Did you see these? Looks like we're in the right place. 
It sounds that way as well. I guess the legend was wrong. That's the end of the tracks, but no monster. Then where is that noise coming from? Or Junjay? Ah, Junjay! Wait, no, Eli! Wait, Junjay! <laughs> Fifty more. You've got some catching up to do. Sleed saying the monster's lair was to the south. Let's head back to the mine first. If Sleed set that trap for us, I want to know why. Eh, eh, um, I believe you lost our little wager, my cave troll companion. Yeah, yeah, hand them over. <laughs> Pronto, all one stinky, clean, and scrubbed. Although, to be honest, that stank of his ne never really comes out. <laughs> the creature! He has returned! So hold on, Pronto. Let's see what we're dealing with. Strange. The monster makes a great deal of noise, but does not seem to be causing any damage. It's like he's trying to be extra monstery. Sleed. Every time he chases the monster away, Sleed gets more crystals. And none of our slugs made a dent. So why to his? Let's find out. from the blast. We're gonna have to continue on foot. Hey guys, come on. There's a clearing up ahead. He must have gone in there. Check it out. I did some more digging on the data stream and found tons of loose bits of info on the Pyranor. There's some really old drawings, folk tales, and... What's this? Looks like some kind of ancient poem. Deep within the caves of Or lives the monstrous Pyrrhidor, whom from Crystal Cave sees the land that his people held in their hand. But the mad emperor who controls from his tower sees the Pyrrhidor and fears its power. 
So he places a curse upon the beast, commanding only crystals from this cave you shall eat. And ever since that fateful day, in his cave the Pyrider does stay. This is amazing! There's so many scattered details, but, but they all come together. There's even mention of the Emperor. This is all certainly fascinating, but don't get too caught up in myths and legends, Trixie. If he had been around for thousands of years, he surely would have encountered my ancestor, Yang. And I am certain I would have heard more of this great, powerful monster. Ah, uh, yeah, guess you're probably right. These are more likely all just tall tales blown out of proportion from one generation to the next. Sleed must be taking advantage of the poor creature for his own gain. <laughs> oh dear lady, you couldn't be more wrong. A pity my little trap in Folkstone Cavern didn't finish you off. But no matter. <laughs> Now that you've entered my home, I can make certain you will not be leaving. Whoa! Wait, the monster is behind all this? You mortals are all the same, even after a thousand years. <laughs> Incapable of seeing me as anything but a monster! So the legends must be true! Brilliantly deduced. <laughs> I wonder what tipped you off. Ever since that vile Emperor cursed me to be reliant on the power of the crystals of this cave, I've been dealing with you parasites crawling all over my home. But now, with the Emperor out of the picture, I can feel the curse fade with every crystal I consume. Soon, I'll be free from this cave to roam and conquer the land once more. I have even found a rather useful right hand for a human. You talking about me? I played my part in the mine to get what I wanted. But I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Nothing but blasting is doing anything! Good idea, Burpee. This thing is made of solid rock. A fusion of you and Bludgeon should take it down. <laughs> Standing? Crystals. No! Whoa! Oh, hey. He's powering up again! Much better. Sweet! Don't just stand there! Get more! If he gets that monster more crystals, we're on it! Open the door. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> now we've got you. <laughs> you live here? What? What's wrong with this? Nothing. Uh, fits you perfectly. You will not escape. <laughs> Yeah. Then again, maybe you will. If you need crystals, I'm sure you and the miners could work something out. I would rather lie dormant for another eon. 
I find your kind sickening. Yeah, because the one of us you know best is Sleed. <laughs> Were you talking about me? <gasps> Sleed! The door will not budge! Bet you I can open it with one hand. Ha! Not even you have such strength! How did you know? Easy. It's the only thing in here that's clean. That's more like it! Yeah, that went well. We gotta make it use up its energy, then stop it before it can recharge. There's gotta be a shot one of us can do that will make it burn off all its energy. Each of our attacks caused it to expend some of its energy. Perhaps a precisely coordinated combination of both our slugs at the same time? <laughs> Whoa, a slug foo combo shot! Like this, I am legendary. And just like most legends, your story's got a happy ending. Well, for us anyway. Wait, sweet. Hope to see y'all again real soon. <laughs> Thanks to you lot, we can now mine the Aurora's crystals safely and without interruption. Uh, too bad Sleet managed to escape. Although I can't say I'm gonna miss the uh, aroma. There's not much to worry about with Sleet. The creature was the real threat, and Pyrite Cavern has been sealed up for good. Which means the Pyrite should stay asleep in there for a long time. Just as it's said in the legend. You know, it wasn't Eli or Junjay who took that thing down. Then how do we settle our wager? A Molinoid always settles his debts. I know just the thing. Uh, the smell! <laughs> yeah. You cannot escape from! Um... Okay, stunts, show them what you do. <laughs> stunts hasn't been a Megamorph long. He sure had no trouble taking out Johnny's ghoul. Because Johnny's not firing Megamorphs. And I see why. Dude's accelerator is busted. Running into Johnny with a busted accelerator gives us our best chance to shut him down for good. If we can catch him before he gets a new one. <laughs> These have been abandoned here since I was a child, forming a maze with only a handful of ways out.
Let's block the exits. Ah, so that is how it is. Fine. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Some of me. No, oh, that's not good. gone by then. If I just take it down that stone warrior... Yes, yes, you were the weak link, but then again, compared to Pronto, who isn't? Eh? Ow! D what? It's never easy to take down a stone warrior. I'm amazed we managed to do it at all. That's just it. With Slug Fu, you and Junji have an edge. And I think I've come up with a way I can get one too. Thanks to stunts. <laughs> stunts? Yeah, if I could add some tech to his goggles, I think I could link it up to my blaster screen and program a flight path for him to follow. This would allow for precise targeting, much like Slug Fu. Exactly. Only I need some pretty specialized tools and parts to build it. <sighs> but that's tough to find around here. <gasps> Junji, who's got that kind of tech here in the Eastern Caverns? There was a famous technician I knew who would have what you need. Actually, his workshop should be near here. That way. Oh. Sorry. Wait, back that way looks like there's a shortcut to his workshop. And it's still in operation. <laughs> Sold! I'm... Hmm? I mean, we're there. <laughs> we'll keep after Johnny. There's still a chance Pronto could track him down. What? A chance? <laughs> Thanks, guys. You know how important it is for me to pull my own weight. And you do weigh a lot. What? How? Oh. With this new device, I can pull my weight and then some. Wow. Uh, am I in the right place? Uh, I'm looking for the technician. Two words for you, pal. Good luck. Call me useless. I'm... <laughs> hmm? Mm. Ah! <laughs> Quick! What's a spatial energy actuator for? Uh, uh, actuating energy. Spatially. Hmm. All right, then. <laughs> Man, gotta love this Eastern tech. I mean, I've seen stuff like this, but everything is just a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? My job's hard enough without having to clean up after you, too. Sorry, this stuff's just so awesome. Though I was kind of hoping to find some machine tools, maybe a factory. Now that is pretty. I beg your pardon. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about you. I mean, you're pretty, but uh, never mind. My name's Cord.
Uh, hey, so uh, what's the deal with the technician? The worker on the way out made it sound like he was pretty tough. Oh, come on. I know he's your boss, but where I'm from, trolls always have horrible bosses. Only way to survive is to have some fun with it. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the technician. I am the technician. <laughs> yeah, that's good, but uh, I put a little more duh in it. I am the technician. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty dumb sounding. But you could do better. I am the technician. I am the technician. Yo. If you have nothing more enlightening to add, please do me the favor of not wasting any more of my time. Way to insult the boss on your first day. Yeah, I thought you were the boss. And why would you think that? Well, because you're so, uh, old. Or you got to do better than that, laddie. Or you're not gonna last any longer than the last one. Who? The worker you're here to replace. Oh, well, no, 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 I'm not here for a job. I'm here cause, cause I need your help. I'm the one who needs help. I'm the only one working for her. I haven't had a coffee break in eight years. If you're not here to help, the door is that way. Wait, wait, maybe we can help each other. Just let me show you my idea. I still need to find a way to shrink this transmodal down to slug size. Which is tough, because miniaturization saturates ions. That can be avoided using a magnetic shifter. I hadn't thought of that. I could calibrate the polarities to increase stability. That's actually a really good idea. Oh, thank you. Well, yes. We still have lots to do, but these ideas suggest you've got some gray matter in your cranium. Too bad you're not here for the job. Well, what if I help out around here? Then would you help me build my device? That's not the usual way we- You're hired! When you finish with those, I'll give you the rest to catalog. Now, to get me some coffee. Okay. So, uh, we got a deal? As long as you don't let me down. I only give one warning. <sighs> they are close. I can smell them. <laughs> Put that into the generator. Hey, uh, so when do you think we could take a crack at my idea? If you're in a hurry, then I suggest you hurry up. The generator's over there. This twitch could cause it to blow up in your face. Just one of the many perks of my job. Or it was. Very glad you're here, buddy. Uh, uh, how explosive did you say this stuff is? Highly. You said you wanted to build your device to help your friends. Help them do what? Again, not to brag or nothing, but... We're here helping Junjay fight to set things right. Junjay? Yeah, <laughs> you know him. Everyone knows the Dark Slinger. You. No, he's not that guy anymore. Sure, he did some bad stuff. Okay, some really bad stuff, but uh, but he's all good now. Ah, uh, could we maybe talk about this uh later? How can I trust anyone who's friends with someone who's brought so much damage and pain? Look, if there's one thing I can promise, it's that I'm not here to cause any damage. I told you to put that tube in the generator! I did? That isn't a generator, it's an oven! Oh, oh. Get down! Oh. Wow, well, uh, sorry 
sorry about that. And that. Ooh, and that. Yeah, ponytail. Consider this your one warning. Oh, come on, laddie. I can't take being her only assistant anymore. I need you to pull your own considerable weight. Yeah, you're not the only one. What is going to take to get rid of you? A lot more than you've got! Or maybe not. Finally leave us now. No, wait. I don't have it perfect yet. I still need your help to finish it. But look, I made a prototype of my device. With it, I can program a flight path for a slug to follow. What are you doing? Don't fire a slug in here. <laughs> With your help, it'll work a ton better. But even now, I can use it to tell slugs where to go. Isn't that awesome? Just like slug food. Why'd you do that? The Dark Slinger attacked this factory with Slug Fu. That wasn't Junjay's fault. There was a bad slug messing with his meatball. Junjay doesn't even remember what he did back then. I do. My father was the technician then. The factory never returned to full strength after the attack. Neither did my father. I never repaired the damage so I wouldn't forget. And I haven't. But my friends... Are no friends of mine! Now go! We still need to calibrate the static lifter. I'm afraid that means overtime. That's right! Again? <sighs> Thanks for nothing, Lottie! <sighs> well, that went great. Now how am I supposed to be able to pull my weight against... Uh, stone warriors? I can't just sit here, but I can't take on that many warriors on my own. <sighs> and again, neither can they. Any sign of Johnny's trail? Alas, no. And the Pronto the Magnificent, greatest tracker in the West and the East, cannot find him. Then there is nobody who... Lord found Johnny! I need accelerator. Smash place up and find me one. <sighs> Hasn't that cord done enough damage for one day? <sighs> Stone warriors. <laughs> cord. <laughs> You brought the Stone Warriors here! What? No, I... I... Ooh, that done. We gotta run! Where did they go? Find them! How do we get these things out of my factory? Yeah, the only way I know is smashing them up. Hope you're better doing that than helping me. Yeah, well, not always. But I can do it if we rebuild my device. 
With your help, I know it'll work against them. Over there. Go get it. I'll buy you some time. Hey, you rock for brains. <laughs> Did your mother not teach your manners? <laughs> oh, stop. I did it. I see. You upgraded the couplers. Yes, that will optimize connectivity with any, any slug. slug. Oh, that's amazing. You are a genius. Cord, why did you come back? To do what me and Junjay and the rest of my friends always do. Whatever we can to help. I know I probably can't convince you. Cord, I'm a scientist. I believe what can be proven. You are here, and that's proof enough for me. Not the time for shop talk! He can see your butt! <laughs> <laughs> Love the upgrade. This is way better than goggles. Yeah, no offense, stunts. How's it going? Looks like you've been busy. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Impressive, Cord. You have found a way to mimic Slug Fu. Nah, bro. I can't control slugs, but I can give them a path to follow. Slug Fu's your thing. This is mine. Thanks to you. Technician. Your father's reputation is legendary, but I do not believe you and I have had the pleasure of meeting. <sighs> the pleasure is mine. <sighs> Any friend of Cord's is welcome here. And we'd love to stay, but it looks like we got more stone warriors to take care of. Let's do it! Wait, before you go, there is something I wish to give you. <laughs> Thanks, technician. It's Drusilla. It, what is? My name, you lunk! Now get going before I change my mind about you. <laughs> Looks like you have been busy, huh? Yeah, what? Will you stop doing that? Now go get me some coffee. <laughs> Have you come here?
here to help decorate for Slug Day, like the rest of us? To be honest, we don't know what is needed of us here. Yeah, or well, what uh, Slug Day is. <gasps> it's only my favorite day of the year. Every year on this day, the people of the Eastern Caverns wake up and find the Giver has brought them new slugs. That's quite a story, uh... My name's Simothy. Everyone calls me Shiny Sim. No one's ever seen the Giver, but I know he's real. So one night a year a mysterious Giver leaves gifts for people as they sleep? Where I'm from, we've got a day like that. We call it Christmas. Christmas? Yeah, well, I guess here it'd be more like Slugmas. Mm. Huh? Don't worry. I've known him forever and I still don't get half of what he says. Last we were here, Peach Blossom Spring Cavern was empty. You have all traveled to celebrate Slug Day here. Why? The Giver only started delivering slugs when the Emperor took over. At least that's what my parents say. In the past 20 years, the Giver's visited every cavern, except this one. That's why we're here decorating and putting out tribute plates. Ooh, <laughs> Proto doesn't mind if he does. Hey, I made this for the Giver. Oh, well, it's, of course you Lucky Giver. When the Emperor reigned, no one besides him lived here. So the Giver never had anyone to deliver slugs to in Peach Blossom Spring. We're hoping if we make this place beautiful enough, the Giver will come here tonight for the first time. You know what? I think I know what is needed of us here. <laughs> is missing something. True musical glory! No, 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 wait! Which Molinoid's work is never done because he's earned a long break before he's begun. It's Pronto! Pronto! <laughs> I just got that noise out of my head. Who's a friend to all of the scores to some? Who likes a nice piece of chewing gum? It's Pronto! 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 Better! Still, needs a little more belching on the chorus, but better. It is now almost more beautiful than I remember it. It's him. The Keeper! That guy! Oh, right out in the open, just hanging out with all these regular people. Brilliant! Huh? <laughs> All right, Giver, get ready to give your slaps to us. I really hate you two. You know that. <laughs> oh, wait, am I crazy? Oh, we met these guys before. And did one of them just call Eli uh -huh. the Giver? Right now, we need less questioning and more slinging. <laughs> What we need
need is less slinging. Let's wrap this up, stunts, before someone gets hurt. <laughs> Giver would be such a good slug slinger. You think I'm the giver? You're the giver? No, I'm not the giver. Really? Well, that's just what the giver would say. Giver? <gasps> He's right. And the slug energy detector doesn't lie. And I've never seen an energy signature as big as yours. <gasps> Until now! We've been chasing the wrong target! Come on! <laughs> Freeze! Freeze! <laughs> Good one. When did this become my life? Everyone, skating's not usually so dangerous. They're heading to the lower ledge. And I got a feeling they're not gonna be spreading any holiday cheer. Come on! Nothing's too slippery to get past me. The Emperor entrusted me with finding the most slippery of adversaries. Let me tell you, lads. Those were the day. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Let's make this easy, giver. Whoa, that can only mean Shadow, Shadow Clan. Clan. I am once more. We were trying to stop those others from stealing your slugs. We gotta go. We can't take on a Shadow Clanner. Oh, yes, we can. Back in the day, Shadow Clan were somewhat of a specialty of mine. But I'll have to break out some of my old tools at the trade if we're going to catch this thing. You're the giver? Huh. Shadow Claws. This, this one, one does, does not understand. understand. He gets that a lot. He's the one who's been giving away slugs to people? That isn't exactly the Shadow Clan's way. The slugs were not gifts. The Emperor took, took away too, too many slugs, slugs for himself. himself. Balance, Balance of energy in caverns tilts too far. So this one... Distributed slugs once a year to maintain the balance of slug energy. Emperor's dark magic devices chased this one's clan from caverns, but this one agreed to remain for the sake of the slugs and the caverns. In addition to keeping the balance, you've made a lot of people happy. What you did, the people have come to call it Slug Day. Even so, Emperor is now gone. The champion has returned. This one's work is done. This one no longer needs to stay here among the soft skins. No! Wait! So, uh. Guessing that didn't go so well? The Giver and his friends are back! Who are you fighting? Everything's still okay for Slugmas, isn't it? Way to go. You renamed the holiday. Just in time to shut it down. The Giver would never let anything happen to Slugmas. 
Guys, it's like I said before, I'm not the giver. <gasps> but I am gonna make sure Slug Day, uh, Slugmas happens. I promise. <laughs> Great! Just one question. How are we gonna do that? Just like Santa would have. You know that still doesn't mean anything to us, right? Makes a difficult task easier. No. Who's a source of delight and constant whimsy? Who's never been stuck in someone's chimney? Pronto. Pronto. Did we get every home? It took half the night, but I believe so. <sighs> Everyone got a slug. Mm-hmm. In this cavern, now we only have the rest of the eastern caverns to go. Uh. And only six hours to do it. And we gave away every slug we collected. Hmm. According to Proto's highly advanced math skills, we'll never make it. Right! Shadow Claws! He's got the slugs and he can teleport. If we're gonna do this, we have to convince him to help us. Last time we saw him, he didn't seem very interested. He's our only chance. We must try. But how will we find him? Those thugs were using a slug energy tracker. Well, I got a mod that can do the same thing. <laughs> Scanner says this is the place, but I don't see... Because you are not gifted with the glittering, swoon-inducing eyes of Pronto. Hmm. Ah! Come in! Huh? <laughs> Our Slug Day celebration is just getting started. <laughs> Wait, you guys caught a shadow clanner? That was easy once I had the bait tool. <laughs> These can get their hands on all sorts of things. Especially the ones who used to work for the Emperor, clearing the caverns of the Shadow Clan. The thieves got away! With the Shadow Clanner's slugs! He's fine, for now. But no one else will be if those guys get away with that much firepower. Got a lot next time. Uh, Mor, Yari, did you charge the Shadow Walker like I asked you to? <laughs> That's it. I'm on my own from now on. We're sitting. So, good luck. It, ah, can you not feel the hot yet mildly rancid <laughs> breath of Pronto upon your neck, villain? <laughs> Better 
shorted out their cages. This is great. Uh, I do not think so. <laughs> We gotta save those slugs. That's not gonna be easy until the X-Mitter's effects wear off. Oh, go back to me, just that beast! You know, it'd be just our luck if the X-Mitter wore off right now. <laughs> attacked you and reclaimed your slugs. Thank you. I, I can, can now take, take my I... leave. Whoa, wait. What about Slugmas? The, the Eastern, Eastern Champion, Champion has returned. returned. The, the balance, balance has been restored. restored. It, it is, is no longer, longer necessary. necessary. It's not just about balance anymore. It means so much to the people. It's the chance to come together and celebrate the connection to the slugs. To remember why it's so important. The slugs... They seem to agree with you. I know what must be done. Thank you, my friend. You have brought joy back to the Eastern Caverns and my home. It has been quite the adventure. So, this is what the holidays are like on the surface? Sort of. There's also usually caroling. You know, like. <laughs> Make it stop! Make it stop! Proto cannot eject the terrible melody from his skull! Dude! Best present ever. The story begins 88 generations ago in a land called China with my ancestor, Yang, a great archer. Yang lived at the time of the first emperor, the Emperor was a cruel and evil man, obsessed with finding the mythical elixir of life, a potion that supposedly granted immortality. The Emperor cared little about the lives of others. In fact, he believed all others lived only to serve him. Yang refused to kneel and earn the Emperor's wrath. There was nowhere in China safe for Yang now. Yang floated on the water, unconscious, the current taking him wherever it flowed. Yang discovered a mythical place that wasn't a myth. It was deep inside a holy mountain. Yang passed through the waterfall and found a secret grotto that led to an even greater secret. Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, the most beautiful and tranquil land Yang had ever seen and a place he would soon call home. In Peach Blossom Spring, Yang created a refuge for people to escape the harsh rule of the Emperor. But the Emperor hated that there was a place outside of his control. He hunted day and night for Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, but it was well hidden. Yang and his people soon discovered they were not alone. There were others who had long lived in the caverns, most were friendly, some were not. But Peach Blossom Spring had its defenses as well. Slugs, Yang discovered dozens of different kinds. Frost crawlers, geo shards, bubbly oaks, even an infernus. And watching them, 
Yang, a great archer, also a master of ancient martial arts, got an idea. He combined them with this new art to create Slug Fu. Yang protected Peach Blossom from all dangers it faced. The first Eastern Champion. The people of my cavern were safe and happy for many years. Until one... The Emperor found Peach Blossom Spring Cavern? Yes. And thus began the battle for my home. A struggle that would take 2,000 years to reach its end. In defense of the caverns, Yang garnered many enemies. One such scoundrel, a greedy rogue who wanted revenge on Yang, returned to the Emperor's realm above and revealed the hidden location of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Only my ancestor Yang and his slug stood in their way. The Emperor had powerful magic. Yang faced the Emperor's magic. The powers unleashed in their battle were so great, they ripped a chasm in the very floor of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Using his slug food, Yang had won, but the Emperor was not finished. He fell 18 levels underground, and there, he landed in a pool of the vile liquid you know as Dark Water. The Emperor had long sought immortality. Now, the Dark Water gave it to him. But it was a cursed immortality. The Dark Water corrupted the Emperor into something stronger than a man, and also something less than human. The Emperor had been transformed into a monstrosity. Infused with the corrupt energies, he gained abilities no man has ever had. The Emperor used them to forge a new army of warriors out of the molten rock, and then bring them to life. The Emperor's stone warriors were soulless automatons. They existed only to obey. He ordered them to climb up to 19 levels of Earth to Peach Blossom Spring. But the stone warriors could not enter Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. The path from below was blocked by a guardian gate built by the Shadow Clan. Mysterious creatures who lived in caverns' shadows. The gate was powered by guardian slugs. There were 11 in all. A Thresher, an Aqua Beak, a Taserling, a Ram Stone, a Vine Drill, a Frost Crawler, a Tornado, a Hop Rock, a Fright Geist, a Flatulor Hinkus, and a Boondock. Each guardian was once a normal slug, but through careful training by the Shadow Clan, they gained a level of power few other slugs can match. Together, they used their energies to power a magic seal in the center of the gate. It prevented anything infused with dark energy from passing through, including the Stone Warriors and the Emperor himself. As long as the slug energy remained strong, he could only seethe. And so, Yang, and all of his descendants after him continue to use Slug Fu to keep Peach Blossom Cavern safe. And so it went, until my day, my time for my family's duty to pass to me. I told you that excellence requires you try your hardest until the results match your effort. And now they have. Choo Choo. This Infernus has been passed down from Yang himself through 88 generations of ancestors. It belongs to the defender of these caverns. And now that is you. I was now the protector of Peach Blossom Spring. 
The Eastern Champion. I prepared to face every threat that arose. A much greater one was growing down below. The Emperor had not threatened Peach Blossom Spring Cavern for close to 2,000 years. The only things keeping him going inside his dark imprisonment was his hatred for Yang and his desire for vengeance. Slugs rarely ventured that far below Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. He used the vile powers of the dark water to corrupt slugs <laughs> into monstrosities. <laughs> Recalling his battle with Yang, the Emperor got a dark idea. Using his magic, he forged a great weapon. A weapon imbued with his dark power. A sword. A sword that could fire ghouled slugs. Guardian slugs get their strength from the magical energies that flow between them. It took the Emperor years to goon enough slugs, but eventually, the damage was done. So many slugs turned into goons. The slug energy that powered the seal on the Guardian Gate was failing. Huh? The gate could no longer hold back the Emperor. Some spring will fall. The Guardian Gate. What do I do? You lead. Follow your training. Listen to your instincts. Trust in Juju. He's been through this before. Yes. Okay. We must rally the others and form a defense. There. Yes. But I will gather the others and mount the defense. And you, you must go on the offensive. <laughs> I was the Eastern Champion, the protector of Peach Blossom Spring. I had trained every day of my life for this very moment, and now I was about to confront the most evil and powerful enemy I would ever have to face.
against Juju. The enemy is some kind of stone monster, but they can be destroyed. They just keep coming! The Emperor's army was as endless as wasps in a nest. Descended from Yang! <laughs> Impressive. You have his slug, and you fight exactly as he did. You honor me. <laughs> nice trick, but I've seen it all before. in the goon's dark energy. I could feel it corrupting me from within. No! You belong to me. You and I will have a 
larger realm to rule. For who will be able to stop us with you as my servant? <laughs> What he said. After that, I spent many dark years under the goon's control. Until my friends saved me. And that, of course, is where your story really begins, because that is when you met Pronto. And with my help, smashed the Emperor! <laughs> He's not coming back, is he? The Emperor? You have nothing more to fear from him. Yeah, after what we did to him, kid, he ain't never doing anything. And you all have the protection of the Shane Gang, the Istor Champion, and, of course, Pronto! Ha <laughs> oh. <laughs> Help me, Master. Show me what I must do. Ha 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 ha!